Hey guys, this video is about the quantum number. Let's start finding the address of the electron by using the quantum numbers. So what are the quantum numbers? These are the constants which fully describes the electron in an atom in terms of energy, shape, orientation and the spin of the electron cloud in the space around the nucleus. Or simply we can say that the quantum numbers are used to locate electron in an atom. Or in other words, quantum numbers are the address of the electron. There are four quantum numbers that are principal quantum number, azimuthal quantum number, magnetic quantum number and spin quantum number. Now look at the four quantum numbers. The first quantum number, principal quantum number that is denoted by small n. It describes the size of the orbital or the energy level of an atom. Second is angular quantum number that is denoted by small l. It describes the shape of the orbitals. Third, Magnetic quantum number that is denoted by small m. It describes an orbital orientation and the space along the x, y and z axis. Fourth, spin quantum number that is denoted by small s or small m s. It describes the spin or the direction in which the electron spin. Either it spin in a clockwise or the anti-clockwise direction. Now let's start with the first quantum number that is the principal quantum number. Principal quantum number tell us about the number of nodes, number of the subshells and the maximum number of the electrons for each shell. So when the principal quantum number is 1, it means that we are talking about the k shell and the number of the subshells in it are, is 1 in number. Maximum number of the electrons in it are 2 electrons. When principal quantum number is 2, it means that we are talking about the second shell that is the L shell. And the, and the number of the subshells in it are 2n number and maximum number of electrons in it are 8. When principal quantum number is 3 means that we are talking about the third shell that is the m shell and the number of the subshells in it are, is also 3 in number whereas the maximum number of the electrons in it are 18 electrons. When principal quantum number is 4 means that we are talking about the 4 shell that is the n shell and the number of the subshells in it are also 4 whereas the maximum number of the electrons in this shell or subshell is 32 electrons. Now note here that the number of the shells is equal to the number of the subshells. When we, uh, we are talking about the first shell then the subshell is also Oh, one in number whereas when we are talking about the second shell the number of the subshells are also two in number and the maximum number of the electrons in both shells and the subshells must be equal. Now the principal quantum number also tell us about the energy of an orbital, a distance from the nucleus and about its stability. Now look at here when n is equal to 1 means we are talking about the first shell that is the k shell that it having the less energy of an orbital because its distance from the nucleus is very less and as a result it's more stable as compared to the other orbitals. Now look at the diagram when we go far away from the nucleus the atomic orbital size increases. Look at here that when we have n is equal to 3 means we are talking about the third shell that is the m shell so its size is bigger as a result its, its energy is more because a distance from the nucleus is more which result in the decrease in the stability of an orbital. 
it means that when the value of the n increases we move far away from the nucleus of an atom as a result the energy of the orbital increases with decrease in the stability of an orbital as we know that the atoms having the different shells in which the electrons revolves around the nucleus of an atom so here the different shells of an atom are k shell having a maximum of 2 electrons l shell having 18 uh, a uh, sorry 8 electrons m shell 18 electrons and n shell having 32 electrons now look at here in the diagram as the number of the shell increases so a distance from the nucleus also increases which result in the increase of the energy and decrease in the stability the maximum number of the electrons can be easily calculated by using the formula 2n square where when we put the value of n we can easily find out the maximum number of the electrons in any shell so friends the second quantum number is azimuthal quantum number also known as angular quantum number or the subsidiary quantum number it tells us about the sub shells that are s p d and f where s denote the spherical p for principle d diffuse and f for fundamental it also tell us about the maximum number of the electrons in each sub shell it also defines the shapes of the sub energy levels as we have discussed that the azimuthal quantum number defines the shapes of the orbitals now look at here when l is equal to 0 means s orbital Look at here that the S is spherical in the shape. When L is equal to 1 means P orbital. The P orbital is dumbbell shape having two lobes. Now look at here when L is equal to 3 means D orbital and the D orbitals are double dumbbell in shape. When L is equal to 3 means F orbitals and it's having a very complex shape. Magnetic quantum number. Magnetic quantum number generally symbolized by m or small ms denotes the orientation of the electron's orbital with respect to the three axes in the space that is along the x-axis, y-axis and the z-axis. Now, when the azimuthal quantum number that is denoted by L is equal to 0, so the magnetic quantum number that is denoted by small m is also 0. It means that only one orbital is there, that is the S orbital. When L is equal to 1, means P subshell, it's having a magnetic quantum number that starts from minus 1 up to plus 1. So, the P or P subshell having three orbitals that are px that is along the x axis py is along the y axis and the pz is along the z axis now when l is equal to 2 means d subshell and the magnetic quantum number starts from minus 2 up to plus 2 that are d x y d y z dxz dx square minus y square and dz square so these are the five d orbitals now when the l is equal to 3 means f subshell so the magnetic quantum number starts from minus 3 up to plus 3 so there are seven f orbitals So we can easily calculate the number of the orbitals in any subshell by using the formula 2L plus 1. Whereas the maximum number of the electrons in the orbitals can be found out by using the formula 2 into 2L plus 1. So the fourth quantum number is the spin quantum number. It gives the direction of the spinning of the electrons around its own axis. The spinning of an electron may be clockwise or anti-clockwise. Friends, 
If you like my video, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel, Digital Chemistry.